silver is a seal um, that was found washed up on Sorrento Beach when she was eight months old. Uh, she was really badly entangled in a discarded fishing net and it was so tight around her neck that um, she was almost dead when she was found on the beach. And she was brought here to Melbourne Zoo where the vets operated on her and they actually had to cut the net out of her neck. The wound was so deep that, um, that it took a long time for her to heal and so she had to stay here at Melbourne Zoo. Uh, in regard to entanglement with seals, uh, and particularly with Australian fur seals, uh, what we see is the, the high prevalence in young animals. And the reason for this is that, particularly yearlings, when they're first exploring their environment, they're very inquisitive, they're playful little animals, um, they like to roll around in kelp and explore their, their new environment, their new aquatic environment. And part of that is that marine debris will float on the surface, but also in the water body and she'll see it as a play item. So anything that has a loop in it, inherently, they'll find a way of putting over their head. And of course, seals with their flippers, which are beautifully designed for moving through water, are not particularly well designed for removing these items. So once that they go onto the fur, when the fur is all, all facing backwards and streamlined with their body, it's very difficult for them to maneuver anything off their necks. And what happens is that these kinds of entanglement items, which is really varied. It can be things like, as we see quite a lot, uh, uh, commercial fishing net, um, recreational fishing line, monofilament. We even see things like goggles, you know, dive goggles that, that uh, again have a loop in it. Seals will find a way of putting over their neck. So Silver's an ambassador for all of her wild cousins, um, not just seals, but we're talking about penguins, we're talking about birds, uh, any sort of marine wildlife that, that can become entangled in fishing line. So ambassador species are really important for all of our community conservation campaigns. They remind our visitors of how special and unique these species are and why it's so important to make a difference to their lives in the wild. The main reason that Silver was the perfect ambassador for Silver Loop uh, is because her scars really help to, to show the problem of waste in the marine environment. Um, and as devastating as it is for visitors to see, it paints a really clear picture for our visitors of the impact that they can have, both positive and negative, on our waterways. We've had thousands of animals here at Melbourne Zoo, but I'd say none of them have had quite the impact that Silver's had. So her stories inspired our Seal the Loop campaign and continues to inspire thousands of people every year about how to treat their coasts with care. <laughs>